So the first thing that we want to do, let's just open up numbers on your phone and let's, uh, this is just a brand new spreadsheet. And all we're going to do is we're going to give it a name. So we're going to call it, I had called it leaves before. Let's call it um, temperature. All right, so when you look at this, it has the name of temperature. Then it has a sheet called sheet one. Sometimes spreadsheets can have multiple sheets, but if you just made this, you only have one. So that's what it's called. Note that there's a space between the sheet and the one. And then each sheet can have multiple tables in Apple numbers, uh, but we're just going to be using table one. All right, and after you've created that spreadsheet, we will minimize that. Let's see how I can do that. We'll go down here. There we go. <laughs> All right, so after you create that blank spreadsheet, you go to uh, Shortcuts. This is an app that should be on your phone. Uh, both of these apps are just made by Apple and they're free. So if you don't have them, you can download them. You open up Shortcuts. We're going to go to the plus button in the upper right-hand corner. Click on that and it's uh, just ready to build a shortcut. There's infinite combinations of things you can do here. But we will start by going to, uh, right now it's called New Shortcut One. You want to rename that, and we're going to use a name that um, you feel like you can enunciate when you talk to your phone pretty clearly. So we'll say Add Temp Reading. And because you can do so many things with shortcuts, a lot of it is buried in the search. So just click in search actions and type ask for. So the first thing that the shortcut is going to do is ask for input. And the input is going to be a number because you are going to give it the temperature. And when it asks for that input, we're going to have it ask, what is the temp? We hit the enter key and we've built this first section of the shortcut. So after we have it ask for a number by asking what the temperature is, then we're going to tell it to add it to a spreadsheet. So we will go down to the search bar and type add row, and that'll bring up the shortcut. You see the little Apple numbers icon here that lets you know that it's a spreadsheet. And this shortcut is kind of pre-configured to add a row to the top or bottom of a table. So we will select that. So we're going to add, and we want to add what was asked for in this previous step. So we will say, well, I clicked on that and just choose ask for input. And we're going to, well, let's say we also want to add a little timestamp to the observation. So going down, instead of ask for input, we're going to scroll to the right. And we're going to say current date. And we'll keep the rest of the configuration as it was. And we'll go back up to the top. Oh, let me dismiss this, bring that down. We want to add it to the bottom of, so it wants the name of the table in the spreadsheet. So remember when we looked at that, it was table one, extremely creative. And you guessed it, sheet one in. So this is where you're going to select the name of the spreadsheet. We don't want ask for input, let's clear that. So see it's pre-filled with number spreadsheet. Now we just need to tell it which spreadsheet. So when I clicked on that, what it did was bring up my iCloud drive. And I do have my Mac here to the right just to show you this. So when I look at my iCloud drive, there is a section called numbers and that's automatically created when you start using the numbers app. And this is all the spreadsheets that I have. And this is the one that we created at the beginning of this video called temperature. When you're looking at your phone, it's the same thing. So you can also open this on your laptop. If you want to do more advanced things with spreadsheet after you have the temperatures in there, but let's go back to the phone. We will select temperature. And this uh, shortcut is almost done. So what it's going to do, you're going to invoke the S I R I and uh, tell it that you want to add a temp reading. But then when you're done, it's going to leave the number spreadsheet open. So we're going to add one less step to close it. What we're going to tell it to do 
is instead of directly telling it to close, you're going to tell it to just go to the home screen. All right, so this shortcut is built. Now what we can do is back out. We can look at it, it's right there, add temp reading. And then we can try to use this as a shortcut. So once again, it's called add temp reading. Let's go down here. Hey, Siri. Hmm? Add temp reading. 69.2 degrees. All right, looks like it did it. Let's click on numbers. We, we asked it to add it to the bottom. This spreadsheet already had 22 rows. So let's zoom in. There it is. And if you want to learn more about how to use Apple numbers, I'm going to link to a video right now on your screen that walks you through all the basics for using this full desktop version. I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching. Hey, add temp reading, 70.1. Add temp reading, 70.3.